We begin our look at the three types of plate boundaries by examining divergent plate boundaries, which means the plates are pulling apart. Like wars often do, World War II brought a flood of information and technology to the scientific world. Radar began to be used, and in addition to that, sonar began to be used. Sonar is a sound wave. They figured out how fast sound travels through water. They would attach a machine to the ship. They would send a sound wave down, hit the bottom of the ocean, bounce back up. They knew how fast it was moving. They divide the time in half, and you have the depth of the water. During World War II, there was a captain of a ship, and he was an oceanographer. As he went back and forth across the Atlantic Ocean, helping the war effort, rather than looking for German submarines with the sonar, he decided what he would do would be map the ocean floor. And that is exactly what he began to do. As he did that, he found something, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which I'm going to show you momentarily. Once he found the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which sits literally right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and mirrors the east coast of South America and the west coast of Africa. The possibility of the east coast of South America and the west coast of Africa being some strange coincidence dissipated. As more research was done in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, eventually during the 1950s, this led to the articulation of seafloor spreading, which really operated as the bridge concept or bridge theory between continental drift in 1915 and plate tectonics in the 1960s. Seafloor spreading says this, it's the idea that new oceanic crust is created at the tops of mid-oceanic ridges, like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which are the sites of crustal divergence. Here's a diagram I created for you. If you look on the left-hand side, you can see South America. On the right-hand side, you can see Africa. The blue in the middle is the Atlantic Ocean. Up until World War II, what most people thought was this. When you left one continent, like South America, and you went down to the bottom of the ocean, you went down about 15,000 feet, and it was flat all the way across the ocean floor until you reached the next continent. Because of leaving the sonar on, crossing back and forth in the Atlantic Ocean during World War II, this professor found the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which is the world's longest mountain range. It starts up in Iceland, goes all the way through the Atlantic Ocean, and then ends up south of South America. Now, it's the world's longest mountain range, but it's below sea level, 7,000 feet or so, so no one knew it was there. As more research was done, one of the things that was found out was the Mid-Atlantic Ridge is all volcanic, which means it's erupting all the time. We didn't know it was erupting because it's below sea level and we aren't out there. And remember, every time a volcano erupts, new lava comes out, which when it solidifies, creates brand new rock that was not there the day before. If you add on to that, the fact that they figured out that the asthenosphere has this, these convecting currents in it, what they realized is that every place you have one of these mid-oceanic ridges, like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the crust is being ripped apart as the crust rides on top of those convecting currents within the asthenosphere. Take a look at this map. You can see South America and Africa glued together some 225 million years ago. Then they broke apart and spread out to the places they're at now. That area that's between them that you see in that light blue, that's where the Mid-Atlantic Ridge was forming. Then, as they did more research, they also found this. As you increase distance from the Mid-Atlantic Ridge towards the continents, you increase the age of the rock, of the seafloor, so that there's brand new rock being formed along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And then as you go further and further away from the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the rock gets older and older and older. This is what led to the concept of seafloor spreading. Take a look at this diagram, you can see the Mid-Atlantic Ridge in the Atlantic Ocean, seafloor spreading, the crust pulling apart, and then along the ocean bed, you can see older than oldest right along the continental shelves in terms of rock age. This is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, that red line running right through the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Notice how the east coast of South America and the west coast of, of Africa, and even North America and Europe are mirrored 
by the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Also keep this in mind because it's going to come back shortly. South America and North America, because of the movement along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, are being shoved, they're being pushed towards the west. This is in Iceland. If you look at the hills on the left-hand side and then look across that valley, you can barely see them because of the fog to the hills on the right-hand side. That valley is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Iceland sits right on top of it. And in fact, there are cracks in that area that are literally the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, or at least parts of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, where the crust is pulling apart so that you can walk from one side to the other and you are literally going from one tectonic plate to another. This is because of these convecting currents. If you look where I put the blue arrow on this diagram, you can see it says upwelling. Just above that, you can see the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and notice how within the asthenosphere, these convecting currents pull apart, ripping the crust open. Divergence also happens on land. The most famous place is in Eastern Africa in what's known as the East African Rift Valley, which stretches from Madagascar in the south through Eastern Africa, which you can see on that map on the left-hand side, up through the Red Sea in the Gulf of Aden, to the west of the Arabian Peninsula, and then up to the Dead Sea. Over the next 50 million years or so, if you look to the right, this is likely what's going to happen. Just like I told you before and you saw on the map, India was out in the middle of the ocean, so too this entire eastern side of Africa is going to break off and go out into the Indian Ocean. 